Now today is Holocaust Memorial Day, remembering the deaths of six million Jews at the hands of the Nazis during the Second World War, as well as other genocides since. Now it's timed to coincide with the date of the liberation of the concentration camp at Auschwitz 75 years ago. But it's far from being just a chance to remember a distant event in history. Take Tim Locke from Lewis, for instance. Both his grandfather and grandmother died in concentration camps. He has a remarkable family archive that was brought to Britain by his mother, who managed to escape Germany on one of the famous kinder transport on the eve of the war. Robin Gibson's been speaking to him for tonight's special report. A moving connection to a grandfather he never knew. Tim Locke is playing music composed by his ancestor. Hans Neumeyer was a blind composer, one of the millions of victims of the Nazi persecution. He went to Theresienstadt, which is um, a place about 60 kilometres north of Prague. It's a huge ghetto, which was used by the Nazis as a propaganda exercise for a long time. But it was, it was a dire place, overcrowded. Lots of people got taken to Auschwitz. Um, he, he, he being blind, um, you wouldn't have thought his chances were that good, but he actually survived there two years, um, thanks to the care of others. The family have never discovered exactly how his grandmother died. She wrote a letter on the train when she'd been deported, and the letter survived. Um, and the letter tells us who, who she was, who's on the train, which station she's been through. She tried to make everything sound normal, like it's a sort of um, it's a little picnic, and we're, we're, we've got met some nice people, and don't worry about us. And, and at the end, she just says very poignantly, um, farewell, I'm in good spirits, and prepare for whatever's going to happen. These photos, letters and documents were kept by his mother. But for many victims, there were no records at all. Their stories can't be told. Today is a day when they're all remembered. I think having a Holocaust Memorial Day really cements the fact that we are committed to remembering the lessons of the Holocaust, remembering all of the victims, all of the survivors. And it's a, a really strong and affirmative message saying we are here to stay and we're going to make sure that people keep learning about the Holocaust and we're never going to forget it. My mother made these in 1950 as an art student. They're actually based on her memory of her own father's hands. A solemn day of reflection for those for whom the Holocaust remains very real. Robin Gibson, BBC South East Today, Lewis.